This video is brought to you by MLDS Networks at www.mlds-networks.com. This tutorial will demonstrate how to use, how to download, install, and use FileZilla to connect securely using SFTP to the MLDS upload server to upload a website. From the MLDS website on the FAQ section on how to upload your website, you will find a link to the FileZilla project at filezilla-project.org. This is a free SFTP and FTP client for Windows. Download the install package from the FileZilla website. Once it has downloaded, proceed to install the package. Once the package is installed, start FileZilla. The way the file transfer works is that you have the local machine on the left where you would have your files and the remote machine on the right, which would be where your website lives. Currently, I'm not connected to any server. The host I need to connect to is login.mlds-networks.com. Tell FileZilla that you wish to use secure file transfer protocol, unlike the insecure regular FTP. Enter sftp colon slash slash login dot mlds dash networks dot com. Your username is your regular MLDS provided username, and your password is the same. Provided password. Hit enter or click quick connect. It'll ask you if you wish to accept the key from this host. Click always trust this host. This message should no longer appear. Should you connect sometime to the host and the message reappears, do not do anything, hit cancel and contact MLDS support. Now I have the remote machine on the right and the local machine on the left. If I wish to upload a file, I need to only find the directory I wish to upload it in, such as public HTML, where my website lives. I can either download a file by dragging it from the right to the left, or I can upload a file by dragging it from the left to the right. And we see the transfer speed and progress at the bottom. So you would drag all your website files to the right into public underscore HTML to upload a website. If you wish to upload a file that's not visible from the website, you would go to, um, you would not put it inside your public HTML folder. But that is all. Again, this was provided by MLDS-networks.com. Source for websites, virtual private servers, Joomla Consulting, and Unix Consulting. Thank you.